Hi everyone, I am Shruti Vijayargi from BISP Solutions and in this video I am going to tell you how to create bar graph using ggplot in R. So what is ggplot first I want to I want to explain these things. So ggplot is a package and it was created by Handley Wickham. It offers a powerful graphics languages for creating elegant and complex plots. It's particularly in the R community has exploded in recent years. ggplot2 allows you to create graphs that represent both univariate and multivariate numerical and categorical data in a straightforward manner. Grouping can be represented by color, symbol, size, and transparency. So to make graphs with ggplot2, the data must be in a data frame and in long format. So in this video, I am going to create a simple uh, bar graph using the ggplot2 package. So for that purpose, you have to go to your R studio. The first thing you must be know that you must import your file uh, in R. So I've already discussed how to import uh, the file in R. I've already imported my file which contains a uh, number of mobile users and population according to country of 10 countries and I stored it into variable country 10. For ggplot2 you must be you you have to necessarily import the package ggplot2 because I have already imported Install that package. That's why library ggplot2 does not create any error. So first you have to install that package by writing install dot packages and write the name which package you want to install in double quotes because I have already imported so I'm not installing this and I've already discussed how to import and attach your file. Now to create bar graph using ggplot2, just go to your file menu and open new script. Now here, for creating ggplot, write ggplot and then the first argument will be the variable where your data your file is stored so my file is stored in the country 10 variable and data is will be equals to country 10 and it specifies that your file that is your file the second argument is aes and it does take two arguments x and y for the x and y for which you want to create your graph aes creates a list of unevaluated expressions this function also performs partial name matching converts color to color and old style r names to ggplot names so my x axis will be country because i want to uh, show a graph of according to country the number of mobile users and my y will be number of mobile users you must note down the name of x and y axis must be equal to the variable which are stored in the data must match because r is a case sensitive if the variable does not match the same case then it will create an error Now the second thing because I am going to create a bar so I have to use the function geom bar and in this I will specify the color for the outline of the bars fill equals to the color for, for which the bars will be filled the bar, color of the bars and the width which is the width of the bars whatever you want you can write it 
and the next argument is a state is equals to identity it is a fixed value so that your bar will be clearly visible the next thing is x lab for naming your x axis so i want my x axis will be country and y lab for naming your y axis my y axis will be mobile users the next thing is the title of your graph so the title is given by the gg title and whatever title you want write in the double quotes now select all and control r to run your graph so the graph will be look like this but as you see the limit of the y axis is too large and it not, does not clearly specify what is the length of this bars or the height of this bars so for that purpose you can either set your y limit by using the y lim function but in this case because the data is too large i don't know where the limits will end so i'm using another function geom text for texting my y axis sorry for texting my bars according to the original values so for that purpose again use the aes function and label for defining the values i want uh, the number of mobile users to be shown so the variable number of mobile users i am writing here and the next argument is v just which uh, defines the position of the text above or below the bar okay now run it so you can see here the text for the values is clearly visible for the bars that there are these numbers of uh, users in that particular country so this is a simple bar you can create in r with the help of gg plot now i'm going to tell you an another bar another simple bar of r for that purpose i am creating an another script in this i am going to con compare the number of population and number of mobile users according to country so the my y axis does contain two types of arguments number of mobile users and population and x axis will be my country so for that purpose use the ggplot function or command to create your graph data will be the variable where your data resides and now because my x axis does contain only one argument country so in this i am writing country and not the y axis because uh, my y axis will be two two y axis that means population number of mobile users so first bar geom underscore bar for the population a yes y equals to population the second thing is state equals to identity it is a fixed value so that your bar is clearly visible next argument will be the position equals to dodge this defines manually the width and height and does not affect all position adjustments and now fill for filling the bars color i want my bar in dark green for population and the color for the outline of the bar
the second thing is for the bar uh, for the number of mobile users so i just copy paste this line and change the color of the fill so that clearly differentiate between number of population and number of mobile users and now my y axis will be number of mobile users okay now if everything is good then control a and control r so this will be your bar so this is your bar here green will represent the number total population and pink will represent your number of mobile users in a particular country you can clearly visible here that some of the bars are totally pink and this means it does not this does not mean that all the population using the number of mobile users this some slightly difference between the values so that it uh, uh, completely visible as a pink that number of mobile users but here also we can uh, not uh, define the y limit as the number of populations and number of mobile users are so many so this is how i create these two simple bar uh, bar graphs using ggplot2 if you have any doubts you can ask me thanks for watching